Everybody's good. Everybody's got the weird shit items they should have, as far as I know. You've got a teleport in Macross Quarter, because why wouldn't we? I guess I didn't bring... What did I even bring then? I brought... Three Haros, the Piranha Converter, and something else. But I don't know what. Better have been good. No idea. No idea what I brought with me. Is it another bus? No, I don't. I don't know. Holy shit. Well, I didn't bring the miracle thing, that's for sure. That's what I should have bought. So we could have a million of them. I don't want either of these things. These things are garbage. Well, that isn't, but who cares? Come on, level 4. Hit points 20. I think we can get somebody's hit points to 20%. How you doing, Nay? How you doing? How you doing? Wow, freaking Hudson. Sneaking in and ever she accent, baby. Uh, let's uh, continue to not hike. Because outside sucks. New dark clouds, huh? Let's go. 28th of April. Like uh, another couple of days. I think it might even be the next day. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. Okay, I gotta find uh, the other stage for this little bit. Oh, okay, then. I'm tired because I've had to keep moving all my stupid shit around. Let's just scroll up then. Oh dear, MSGX. Wow, MSGX maybe he's in like crazy caps. What the heck? Haman is doing like uh, this is where they meet, but nobody's actually got what they fucking are doing here.
See the other path you first glimpse of Haman doing the political thing. Okay. Okay. I'll check the other path, buddy. Uh Nope. Nothing there. Uh Nothing there. No, nope, that's where they go hiking. Nothing there yet. Nope. Yeah, MSG is in caps and babies in caps. I gotta like use the start of this bit, but it's just like, oh yeah, could we all just he tells everybody what Haman Khan's like? Here's Haman Khan talking to a, a Federation dude, and she's just like, mm, well, I'm I'm the representative for Neo Zeon right now, and uh, I'm gonna fuck you up. Where's uh, Minerva Zabi, huh? I want Minerva Zabi. Where's she at? I think Kamar's actually the one who hit her, so I don't think she's even wanting that, but she did just mention Minerva. This is fucking garbage, because nobody ever mentions any shit. Like, nobody is mentioning this cutscene at all. But it's Haman just, uh, I think this is just Haman doing like her first politics thing and showing that she's really cool and smart as hell. She's very shrewd and also aggressive. Um, and uh, she's thinking like, Shah, what the hell are you doing? The Federation suck. But anyway, here's uh, Koji Kabuto. Uh, he's confused about uh, the current federation being a combination of the Earths and uh, colonies, and uh, he's like, well, shouldn't that include Neo Zeon as well? Like, what's the deal? Camille then says uh, about the declaration of war that happened in uh, UCW. Um, Neo Zeon lost, but a few remnants uh, still remain. Um. There was the one year war and it sucked, but we've been fighting for a long time. Neo Ze uh, Zeon lost, and uh, but a few remnants remain and they call themselves Neo Zeon. Uh, not only the people, but uh, a lot of like just people who live in space in general have a lot of grievances against the Federation because the Federation mistreated everybody in space and it, like taxed them super heavily. And he mentions... Uh yeah, there he's talking about Geon, they're talking about... Uh Yeah, uh, the ADW UCW world's Neo Zeon, they had remnants, uh, Neo Zeon again, everyone's talking about Neo Zeon. Uh, he mentions Haman Khan at one point. Yeah, here's Luca, he's like, I heard Haman Khan's the head of uh, uh, Neo Zeon. And uh, Camille's like, yeah, it's not to the point where the Space Noids are ready to declare another war yet. And Haman isn't a strong enough leader to get the support of all the Space Noids. But... She's really fucking good at her job, right? Like, incredibly good at her job. Um, I fought her a couple of times, and she's an incredible pilot. She's really good. Uh, she's a really strong new type, and she's evil as hell, so you got to be careful. Uh, he also says um, they need... Um, if... Uh, the uh, space noise wanted to actually like make any progress. They need someone other than Haman leading them, because Haman's like super aggressive and uh, like rude. Like she's not rude, but like she's done a lot of bad things. They need like an actual symbol. 
and he suggests, uh, uh, well, he doesn't suggest anybody else, but he's like, they need somebody other than Herman. And then he's going to mention, he, I don't think anybody mentions uh, Minerva Zabi. Uh, actually, actually, no, uh, Michelle mentions Minerva Zabi. Uh, yeah, last, um, she's been showing up on TV, and um, yeah, okay. Do -do 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 uh, yeah, so, Vicky's like, howdy, who are you? Oh, this is Vicky, he goes to school, hi, I'm Camille Bidan, how you doing? I'm Far Yuri, how you doing? Uh, my, uh, Zeta Gundam, unfortunately, is all fucked up, uh, and, uh, it's actually, like, where's the Zeta Gundam? Uh, Anaheim Electronics wanted it on the moon, they said that they wanted it to, to give it an overhaul, and, uh, I, I, I thought it was a bit weird, because it was fine, but, you know, whatever. Uh, Vicky, uh, Hibiki doesn't mention Minerva Zabi here, uh, Michelle mentioned it. On the other route it's Hibiki, but on this uh, side Michelle mentioned it, he says, um, Minerva Zabi was shown on TV recently and she looked about 10 years old, and Camille's like, that ain't right, she's way older than that. Like, she was, she was 10 in the one year war, she should be like, 16 now or some shit, so... And Vicky on the other route goes, I think the one that was shown is a fake, that's what the internet says. And uh, Camille's like, oh, it could be, it could be. Uh, the real one would be much older, um, and he feels like a little weird. And then Rudy shows up, he's like, hey, you're not going to just do your friends? It's like, no, Rudy, no. So uh, this guy's like, I'm Rudy, I'm a ensign, I'm not very good. I don't even think he's an ensign, actually, I think, he, I think he's a uh, lieutenant. But whatever, he's really, and he sucks. He uh, is really masterless, and he doesn't mention it, but he is um, the heir of like a huge Earth family. Like he's super rich. He's and uh, he's like super rich. His family's super rich, and they have directly profited from the suffering of the space noids. And uh, this is uh, Emma, and Emma comes over, and she's like, "Hi, I'm actually good." And I and I'm Katz. Katz Kobayashi, how you doing? I'm shitty. And it's like, yeah, we've been fighting since Zeus. It was as good as hell. Thing, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, and they're like, we're assigned to the Nihilagama. Under Otto, whatever his name is. And um, we're part of uh, Londo Bell. We haven't seen Shin and stuff for a while, though. Emma <laughs> talks shit to Rudy because he sucks and makes him sad, apparently. But then he's like, I just want to train under Camille and be good, and then I'll be recognised as good. And then uh, this guy comes over and he's part of the Echo Squad. He's a special forces dude and he's really good. And they're like, yeah, Neo we're tracking Neo Zeon. Um, they're all using... Uh, Yes, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, uh... The Nihilagama is, uh... The only one of its kind and class. Um, so it mostly just gets to run around doing weird test stuff while Londo Bell do the real work. Uh, it's currently testing the Rizel, which is like a mass-produced uh, Zeta. And uh, Riddy is hoping he can uh, make a name for himself uh, by outflying his wingman, Camille, and they yeah, ain't having in. Um, and then this guy comes over and says that the Neo Zeon forces are using last generation mech, and like that makes it f seem and feel like Neo Zeon are like an under-equipped uh, fringe group, but maybe that's what they want you to think, right? So these guys are ooh, keeping an eye on them. And now I want, yeah, this one. Yeah, Emma Camille explains the Helagama is uh, a test bed for new stuff. Da -da 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 -da. 
Yeah, so Recon, uh, we have found uh, a hideout, uh, the hideout of the guys we just beat up. Uh, and this is the briefing about it. Here's the Guza, he's good as hell, he's the leader of the Echo Squad that are with us. Um, basically, we want to find out if it's a Neo Zeon plot, and uh, Shadow's like, mm -hmm, I'm a detective. And one is like, yeah, this guy's from the ICPO, he's a fucking incredible policeman, he's like a super detective. And the Guza says, my conscience won't allow me to get you guys all mixed up into a military operation, like you're not actual military. Not that I think you're no good. Like, please. Um, but for the mission, uh, we are being divided into... You know, what the hell? Why are you, you know, it's like, jeez, your children, calm down. And then Shara's like, don't worry, worry, it's fine. We can help even if uh, they don't want us to, like, go with them and investigate things. Anyway, the mission... What a friggin' uh, bumble we've got here where nobody said anything about friggin' Haman. And this is the uh, Nude Dark Cloud... Nude. New Dark Clouds. So I know... Six. Which I could read. Uh, music started and then stopped instantly. That's a bit weird. Um, we've been divided into two teams. Oh no, three. Three teams. Uh, forward squad and then uh, B team and uh, C team, the reserves. And Hibiki volunteers for forward duty. It's like, yeah, Sosuke and Hibiki want to be in the forward squad, they get to charge ahead. It's like, isn't that a bit scary for a high schooler? And he's like, nah, he faced worth, he's a... Yeah, it's like, why did you... Like, isn't this dangerous? He's like, nah, I fought Dimensional Grizzlies, I was a hunter of them. Um, I fought, like, loads of worse shit, and I didn't even have a robot then. DG, Dimensional Grizzly! Straight up says, it's like, it's like some crazy shit. He's like, yep, me and my dad hunted him. And the goose is like, oh, I seen my share of uh, uh, hunters and uh, also hunting people. So, uh, let's investigate. And we get there, and uh, the goose kicks down the door. And is like, where? What the? And I was like, there's nobody here. It's like, there's nobody friggin' here! The place is entirely deserted, what the hell? And then... Bing, bang, boom! We're getting shot! Are they outside? What the heck? Were they using cloaking technology? Yeah, I guess they were! What the hell, they just appeared out of nowhere! And like, ha ha ha, we use the stealth shadow system! Ah ha 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 It's like, dang it, Robot Mafia dudes! What are you even friggin' doing? These guys aren't Neo Zeon, these guys are a bunch of jerks! It's like, where's the A-team? They're like, it's stuck in the bunker getting shot at. Also on foot. And then Shodoro and Wada are like, yes, this is what we've been waiting for. Howdy, fellas. It's us. We're here to um, rescue everybody. So they fly the shuttle over. Kinoshida gets out, they pick up the goos. They're like, get on board. Jesus, before the bath toys attack us. Fuck. And then... Uh, It's like, ah, oh, awful Shodoro kid. Nice work, kids. You did it. And then Shodoro's like, yeah, while you guys are doing that, we uh, found out that the uh, robot mafia hack uh, we've been lurking around, and uh, we even know what lab they stole the um, stealth shadow system from. Like, we did loads of cool, like, we did loads of cool stuff, right? While you guys were doing this, and. Um, Apparently, because uh, there's so many Robot Mafia dudes here, it's like, oh, this is going to be their last day, and they can't have anybody other than these guys. And the Goose is like, wow, and you guys did all that while we were in there? You guys are good. Sorry, I doubted you, sort of. I re I, it's like, I regret underestimating you because you're children, but uh, now let's murder all the dudes. Let's go, said Sujin. <laughs> Uh, 
and black ox. And then I gotta clear the thing in six turns. Howdy Gosmo, how you doing? Bam ba dum bam bam ba dum bam ba da ba dum bam Okay, uh, mission six Shoro vs Branch uh, damned branch You're still committing crimes even after Branch was defeated? Let's do this thoroughly, Tetsuji, and we'll put a definitive end to the robot mafia right here and now. He's awful robot mafia fellas. Trash Let's go bathtubs. Yeah, destroy the branch robots. Sure thing, I'm a baby. Bam, 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 bam. Black Ox. I'll get ya. Look at that shit. Can't do shit against his barrier, he's invincible. He loves to be protected. Flying kick! Bam 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 Nice work, Tsujin. Nice work. I don't know why it put us over there. That's weird, right? And uh, that's all we got. That's all we got. Oh, well, that's the only attack he can do. I guess we'll do that. I should have just defended with Black Ox because I'm pretty sure he won't take any damage because the barrier is good enough. That weird dancing baby. And then Black Ox will step in if he gets hurt and we'll be fine. And I think, like, Tetsushin should repair like 20% of his health because he's a repair unit and Black Ox has got the repair and resupply thing, so he's also feeling pretty spicy. Yeah, like, look at this. Wah, wah. Even going so far as to catch some missiles that otherwise would have missed him. Black Ox, I'll get ya. Nope. Oh wow, did you see that guy just like backspin away? Nice. Womp. I miss drilling big holes in people with that attack though. Maybe that happens on a dynamic kill still. <gasps> and then one guy survived? Fuck you. Mm -hmm. I got once again invincible. Yeah, so he repaired enough of his juice to be good. Uh, here seems pretty good. We can bop that guy. We can bop that guy. These other guys should come forward. Black Ox, you letting me down. Look at this shit. It's the only attack he can do is the all attack. Wow, I didn't even bop him. I do, yeah, 
which sometimes is just really bad. Um, notification emails. I do a tweet and I do a thing in the Steam group if you have them open. But if you like at work or whatever, then I guess you're fucked. Decision. I don't know if I upgraded him halfway or not. Hey, it's everybody else. Jodoro, we're here. Nice, good. Let's clean up these guys then. Oh. UFOs, actual UFOs. Uh, they show up and they go, "Wow, we are here to uh, defeat those imbued with the power of the sun." And they start attacking Tetsujin. So like, what the hell? Why are you attacking Tetsujin? It's actual aliens from space. Buh. Let's just bop them. Garbage. And Choro is all, "I don't care why you want Tetsujin. I'm gonna bop you." The uh, the Knorr Steam group. I do uh, notifications in that. What is Hibiki say? Hibiki for savings. These are different too, huh? But if you're my enemy, then nothing's changed. Don't even think you're getting past here. Wow. Howdy, still fire. How you doing? Yeah, UFOs attacking Black Ox. They would definitely stunt his emotional growth. You're right, those phases. The problem is. We helped his emotional growth by getting him to do loads of fighting, so I'm not entirely sure about that one. Uh oh. More coming from the side. Waha! Oh, it's okay. Ah, they didn't and showed up. Right in the bopper. Uh, no stuff, fire. You haven't missed nothing. You just missed Haman doing her introduction, and then um, we fell for a trap. It's like, oh, it, yeah, that's uh, part of Mithril. That's uh, it's the Tuhade Danan. It's sort of like our home base, sort of. Tuhade Danan. That's like named after the Irish thing. Habiki, you know so much about weird shit. Anyway, Tess is here, baby. That's fine. That's that's reasonable. Uh, 
Uh, let's see if these nerds can do anything. Like, probably not, but we can try. I'll be honest, I don't think these guys are, managed, are gonna manage to kill these UFOs. They're like the easiest enemies in the entire game. Fucking cats. And far. Far did even worse than he did! Holy shit! Awful. Just. Awful. Shockingly awful. Let's go, buddy. Look, Riddy can take it out. And everyone will definitely be able to take it out. Well, I feel betrayed. That guy, that guy would be really upset if we did that. I think it's everybody jamming, command, and I think it'll only give these guys uh, jamming, but all these guys now get loads of crit innovation for free. Which ain't bad. Wait a minute. Why well, are those guys starting with two? That's weird, right? Do they start with two tag tension? Right, neither of them are aced. Um, I don't get it myself, but there you go. There's no way that dude doesn't die. Two free bops for these poor men. And this should be two free bops. Hell yeah. Attack these awful men. Okay, uh, I don't know why you're coming off Tetsujin, but if you're attacking Earth, I'll give you no mercy. 
Go Tetsujin, take down both these mysterious enemies and the robot mafia. Wow. I hate it when it makes you go to where Shoro was fucking standing after he speaks. Womp womp. Just teleports, it's good. Is there any secret stuff? Uh, yeah, no, we did the don't go hiking thing, so that's fine. And there's no secret still. Stage 8, yeah, where we gotta move for Vicky to the warehouse thing, I remember. I remember. We have to move into the warehouse and we need to have uh, Sosuke fight Gauron. This is where we get. Ch and we'll get Chiriko. And Duo. Well, we won't get them, but they'll be there. Even Otto can shoot down a fucking UFO far and cats you turds. Actually, gonna swap them around and have them hang out next to these guys so he can defend them. That's the only way you can do. If the branch guys couldn't get through Ox's force field, the UFOs definitely aren't. Use land accelerate. So, sea and space only, air and space only, no, uh, ground and space only, air, ground and space only. And let me tell you, those UFOs made a big mistake.
is turn three turn four and I got till turn six to do all this shit well here you go the oh, they can't even go anywhere they're too slow even in these fucking things don't they have haros? no okay well they need the haros then because they're fucking garbage actually trash And she didn't. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with these guys? Doing the massively underwhelming damage. He got the fucking kill because Jesus Christ. How many of them gonna have to upgrade everybody's weapons uh, like again? We did it. That's our point. Get yeah, and an ace for Ozma. Um, uh, Basara's songs uh, have double effect and uh, evasion plus fifteen percent. I guess we didn't do the thing, yeah, I guess I need to... Nice. 
What's Camille got to say about this? Uh, uh, we couldn't get a lead on any Neo Zeon activities. Why am I so impatient? Am I really afraid that he would be with Neo Zeon? Wow, I wonder who he's talking about. <sighs> All enemies bopped. Da -da -da -da. It's like, well, we didn't find anything out about Neo Zeon, but Toha De Danan, gone. And I guess uh, that's in danger from aliens. But uh, nice work, thanks for the missiles, Miss Mithril. We didn't find anything about Neo Zeon, that's a shame. But, uh. The Goozer comes over and he's like, hey, kids. The Goozer's hand. You did really good work. I can see why you're an ICPO agent. I respect the both of you a lot more than I did. Uh, the Gundam fellas then discuss uh, the actions in Neo Zeon. Uh, Katz is hella mad. He's like, I don't want to repeat the UCW and ADW. Uh, Camille says that the f um, how the Federation decide to act next uh, might be critical as to whether uh, Neo Zeon declare war or not. Uh, he also thinks that it doesn't feel like Haman gave uh, the orders because uh, having fought against she knows her style. Ket says, um, are you thinking Quattro's behind this? Um, and Rudy says, why Quattro? What's, why, 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 what, 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 why, who, what, why? And, uh, Camille tells him that Quattro is char -asnable. Like, what the? What? Who the? Char the Char Asnable, like the Red Comet guy? Yeah, he's a big deal. Uh, um, uh, you guys in ADW might not know who he was. Um, so, uh, he was an ace pilot who fought Amaro a lot. He's like, wow, he worked with us and, like, Camille and Amaro, you knew this all along? Yeah, like, he just wanted to be a regular guy and he worked with us in Zexis. Don't worry about it. I, like, I don't want to believe he would j join Neo Zeon. Um,. And was like, well, I'm sure he's not. He was a cool guy when we knew him. See you later, Camille. And then uh, Camille once again uh, thinks and hopes that Quattro would have learned from Trey's and wouldn't do something so idiotic. Oh, okay. Here's here's the 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 Haman thing that happened at the start of this mission. Happened at the end of the other one. Um, Haman just says that she felt the mission wasn't aggressive enough, and uh, the dude she was talking to was like, "It's the colonel's order." So, yeah. but anyway, after we're in trouble, where's her Vicky? So, uh, where have you guys been for the last couple of days? And uh, Koji goes, uh, ask Alto, and he goes, ask Hiviki, and he's like, uh, ask Sosuke. And then she's like, like, I'm gonna believe uh, any excuse you give, weirdo. And she says, uh, her verdict is class rep is all of them have to pick up trash during next week's field trip. Oh! And once again, they all keep shifting the blame onto him over and over again. Like, dang it, Alto. You should have just told her. But Sasuke's like, hell yeah. I'm the garbage man. Happy Ace Pilot, Ozma. Happy, uh... 
I bet you didn't ace or something. Oh, I also found out what uh, actually happens in the Amato one. It's good. Uh, in the Amato one, um, uh, AG is like showing him pictures of sexy women from around the world because he wants to see him fly. And the Amato's like, no, I've got that under control now. Don't, like, it's fine. And then AG goes, Goes, oh hey Makono, as if she walked in the room, and Amara goes ah, and floats up into the air, and then AG gets a broom and pins Amara to the ceiling and continues to show him pictures of sexy women, because he's fucked up. But here they talk about Skull Squadron. It's like yeah, Alta took over, huh? I guess you're not the here you go, Skull Squadron. Oh, and he mentions uh, Kathy. He mentions uh, so he mentions Kathy, and he's like what? What are you saying about Kathy, huh? Love that lady. We're divorced, but I love her. And then Hibiki did some stuff. I asked, sail, sail. Possible move, possible movement's pretty good, right? I'll buy a plus one move. I'll buy a plus one move. Why wouldn't I buy a plus one move? Yeah, and he's not going to be in that any longer. Hopefully these two idiots couldn't even fucking kill anything. Actually, awful. Uh, and so for that, they're gonna take the heart. Well, they're definitely taking the heart off of Sosuke. Oh, I guess they took the heart off of Kurtz. Or whatever. Sosuke's definitely not having one because he's fucking leaving. Brings their squad to ten and like good range. And they have the tension razor. So should they get a thing, they'll get loads, supposedly is the idea. But they're bad. Really bad. Incredibly bad. Could give him a spiral effector. Do we have a crest of... Hakai, which is plus 200 weapon, right? Oh, she's got that, okay. I'm gonna give that to her, and I'm gonna buy another one. That's the biggest damage boost we can buy, yeah, so, yeah. And then I'll put that on. I sort of like having the tension thing, though, so they're really good. So that's fine, I guess we can just give it back uh, to her, then. That's, that's fine. And now we've got another one of them going around. Wait a minute. There we go, that's what she... that's what I wanted her to have. Uh, that seems okay to me. This guy can have that so he's not fucking up their squad. By being bad.
Actually, I guess the Mark II... It makes her really fucking fast though, and she can shoot really far, which is really good and cool. And oh, that's fine, they can keep that, and then someone else can have the Sparrow Effector. I don't know, this guy though, he sucks, and I hate him. She has accelerate now. Yeah, so they're really fast. They'll get us loads of money. These guys are really fast and get us loads of money. Uh, these guys are really fast. Yeah, okay. So these guys will get us the most money. Nearly, buddy. Can't believe how bad they were. Dash. Break will limit. Blackhawk's got a lot of shit there, so he's gonna get guard and just be like, if it's, oh no, he actually wanted, he wanted the resolve. I fucked up. That's fine. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna. I'm even gonna upgrade to these guys' fucking guns so maybe they can exist in this awful world. Maybe far even fucking kill a thing. Anyone who's already aced doesn't get five. Unless I already gave them five. That's my current rule. Yeah, I give to I did give Tetsujin the thing. Is this where we're gonna lose Sosuke looming trap? I guess, I guess. Howdy George, how you doing? Yeah, this is uh, back at the start. <sighs> Let's go. Wow, like a week later. The uh, the big field trip to Okinawa is happening, and these guys have got to look after Chidori, so it's all very tense. Um, Tessa mentions that she uh, once uh, lived in Okinawa. Uh, she pretended to be a normal schoolgirl, and everybody loved her. And that was uh, in between brief stints between her military base education. But uh, because that nobody cares, they want to talk about. Uh, Intelligent reports instead. Um, they ask her why Russian terrorists uh, would have uh, info on her. Um, and uh, Kalanin says it's probably because uh, they're building on data from an abandoned Human Progress League, the HPR, they were in Z2 um, lab. And so if we blow up the scientists, then maybe that'll be the end. So Tess says, yeah, arm strike, let's fucking do it. Let's keep collateral damage to minimum and get them all. And then apparently, an old enemy of Mithril is going to be there, which is going to make things a little difficult. But it should be fine. It should be fine. It should be fine. Should be fine. 
but with that it's successful and she's like well I guess we're gonna drop uh, Sosuke's mission then he's done he's done so here we are everybody from the school is on their trip to Fuma Fuma land which is the noise Bonta makes since where Bonta kun lives uh, Kaname is getting annoyed by Sosuke following her around everywhere And he says, I'm just doing what you said. I'm cleaning up garbage as you ordered. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we are also doing it and it's bad. We hate to clean up the garbage, Gomi. <laughs> We're cleaning up garbage all day because he's told us to. We're the garbage men. We hate to clean up the rubbish. But, um. Kind of says, ah, oh, geez, why don't you, uh. enjoy the trip, maybe? And Sasuke's like, no, we must, uh, complete the mission of cleaning up the garbage. She's like, but you just keep knocking over. Like, you pick up some rubbish and then you put it in the bin and then you knock the bin over and you clean it up again. And he says, yes, I'm making sure there wasn't anything dangerous inside the trash can. And she's like, Hibiki, you're supposed to be. Like, no, oh no, she doesn't go, you're supposed to keep an eye on me. She's like, I see you doing that too. Clean up the same bit of rubbish over and over again to make so you don't have to do anything. And Alta's like, ah, friggin' Sosuke is so overcautious all the time. What the hell? And then uh, Chidri says, uh, hey, keep the noise down and stop causing a ruckus or we'll be banned. And then, for more, 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 for more. Muffle, full, 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 full. It's Bontakun. So, hey, it's uh, the mascot, Bontakun. Hell yeah, I love that guy. What the hell is he? Is he like a badger or a bear or a cat? He's cute. And it's just because, like, it could be someone dangerous inside. So, what are you doing? There's just the guy, and then. Uh. She hits him, she says, get away, it could be someone dangerous, and she just hits him. Like, he wakes up, it's like, maybe you should leave her alone for just a little bit and let her enjoy the rest of the trip. And so he's like, no, I have a mission. And then Kurt's come over and says, actually, you don't. Uh, enjoy the rest of the trip, and that's an order. Like, mission's over, We've uh, I've got the orders from the higher up. Very well, I'll have a good time. Because it's gonna go spy at women. So, so what are we gonna do now? Maybe we should go to the beach or something. Yeah, let's go to the beach. So they go to the beach. And unfortunately, the beach is full of trash! It sucks! So Sosuke starts picking up uh, the garbage. He's like, what are you doing? I'm a garbage man. I'm picking up garbage. Everyone's like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's clean up the beach. Like, why not? Let's make it better for everybody else. Kazama then shows up and uh, he starts talking about robots and with Sosuke and arm slaves and um, how bad and like how bad. Like, I watched the movie Celestial Beings and everything was all fucked up and wrong. Totally unrealistic. And they mentioned there was a guy called Saatome in it. And he had the plane and there was this uh, Mazinga guy who was like 200 meters tall and made a light. Um, did -da 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 -da. Uh, Hibiki asked Sosuke if he was going to stay in school like everybody else. And, uh, and Sosuke asked him, he's like, do you... Uh, He says, "Like, are you like worried or anxious? Do you want to like this cause? Like, do you want to leave the school and something's making you not?" And then Hibiki uh, doesn't really answer. He's like, mm, "I do feel a little bit anxious." And then in turn, he's like, "Friggin' Jenny, and it worries me." Uh, at the uh, Helagama. 
this, this, they're talking about whispered and uh, how they can uh, now they're special magic babies and they didn't exist in the UCW or ADW world but uh, it's the terrorists are on the move says Liam so we gotta do stuff and this is scenario 7 the trap was set But yeah, here we are. Where's Sosuke? Oh, he's busy doing stuff. Uh, he's uh, gone back to the school with Susan A to cover for us, so nobody gets uh, suspicious. Oh, I get no. Susan A's here, and she's like, "Yeah, but uh, like he's gone back, and he's like, oh, Susan A's with everybody.'" And Susan A's like, "Yeah, here we are." Uh, Susan A asks if Vicky Wake uh, continues to insist on launching by himself, and he says he'll never be a pro by relying on other people. And he'll one day have Susan A stop being his co-pilot, and then terrorists show up. This should be this should be easy. Uh, I guess the field trip to Okinawa is over. Uh, apparently, the trip the the cover story is the bus that broke down. Uh, little, 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 little. Okay, so now uh, yeah, so these guys from Astragius. Um, and they're like outlaws that uh, refuse the general call for everyone to integrate into Earth society. Uh, and apparently Camille thinks it's a trap, but he doesn't yet. So there you go. Let's try. Do the the double murder, but it ain't happening. Defeat all enemies within four turns. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next turn, Camille thinks they're being embedded into a trap. <laughs> Nearly, buddy. And far does even worse. What the shit, far? The stat difference is like fucking six. The stat difference is 6, and you do like 200 more damage than he does with your move, so what the heck. Damn, next time. Freaking boss's fucked up face. See, these guys can murder things. Oh, I guess I guess Emma can't. Well, there you go. Oh, there you go. Uh. These guys should be fine, though, right? Yeah, those guys. Th those guys are good. And then once he's aced, we'll put Clan in front. Mm. You know what? 
no. Actually, yeah, we'll get them their, their slight will up. I hope. Jesus Christ. How do you do... How do you less damage? When you've got like 200 attack power on him. What's up with that, huh? Warfall. Maybe you're right, Sakaji. Maybe they're not cut out for it. Okay, a super box the next time. He's like, this is going pretty good. These guys are a bunch of garbage, trash idiots. And uh, Kami's like, no, this is definitely not right. This is feels like an ambush. And then it is. Whoops, we fucked up. And then Team D show up. Dan Cougar, Nova. Howdy kids, we showed up. We're here to hang out now. Mithril told us to hang out. Then Cougar and Nova. Yeah, they're the guys who like do weird fights or whatever. They always fight for the underdog, part of Zexis. Howdy. Uh, Team D say that the jet that was uh, taking the other students from Okinawa has been hijacked. So Osma says we gotta clear out these awful terrorists. Uh, ASAP. And Team D like, well, now let's uh, hook up with uh, that guy, the new guy who's on his own. Fuck you up, kid. He's like, but I wanna. And, if, and she just says, Hibiki, just uh, forget your own feelings and focus on saving the students. And he's like, okay, sure, I'll accept the help. Yatte Rajan. The Gundam guy with the thin mustache, you you think Odo looks evil? What the hell? Oh, 
He's just a he's just a bit useless sometimes. That's an ace for Emma. What is that then? What's that? Uh, Emma increased damage on assist attacks and support attacks by 1.2. Nice. So she's really good in the back. And then I'm going to morphinate these guys. So maybe they'll be able to fucking do anything with their lives. All signs point to no. Jesus fucking Christ. And Fod just doesn't do shit again. What the f fuck, Far? You're two levels higher than him, and you do way more damage. And this is happening. I'm fucking crying. Awful. Awful. Just... Awful. She's not going to be able to kill these guys. Oh my god, oh, everyone's just letting me down. This is awful. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me in a video game. I guess he missed. So this will happen. Mitsu 
Oh, except she fucking missed the gun. Oh. You're killing me here. You're killing me here, chumps. Yes, our point. Defeat all enemies within four turns. Well, that that should happen. Boss miss. Nah, boss just didn't fucking do anything. Well, you got one of them at least. That's better. Ship because uh, they were right on top of him, so his moves bad. I I can't fucking risk it. I can't risk doing the shitty move. Like the game's going, no, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, they'll be all right, but they fucking won't be. Truly shameful. You can fucking kill him now! Fuck me, cats. I fucking. Oh, I hate him. Oh, I hate him so much. Oh, I am 
Kurt's fucked it up this time. Fifty. Still can't kill these guys in one shot. Diabolical. Okay, someone's here with moves that are good. Thank you, Ozma. I see someone's good at their fucking job. All them is defeated, we did it. Nice work. Oh, Jesus. Let's go rescue those awful students on the awful plane. Hope Sasuke's okay. Here's Gowron. Uh, he's just letting everybody know that they've been hijacked. Um, he tries to take uh, economy away so I need you to be the face of the thing so uh, you just uh, come on over and speak to the press and then the teacher's like what are you doing we've got uh, uh, rights and sh shit you can't do weird shitty things bah. And then Garong has had enough of her whinging and he just puts the gun in her face. And died so. You want to be the first one? Tray drops. Sorry. I dropped my tray. No, oh, forget it. Let's all calm down, shall we? Says Garong. Uh, but he still insists on taking the uh, Chidri with him and asks to a cooperator he's going to do uh, something exciting again and start getting rowdy and she says yeah okay sure whatever just don't kill anybody and then uh, Jira's like okay I'll let you move now he's like why did you hold me back and um, Jira says don't worry me and that guy we're here to help you at Ulu 7 we got your back Got your back. Mm -hmm. 
Happy Ace Pilot. Emma! I don't think we've got an Emma here either. Nope. I bet AG's being rude and lewd to her, as always. Happy Ace Pilot! Owie! We do have an Owie here. Thanks AG, it doesn't feel so bad being congratulated. Aren't you used to being cheered as a champion racer? Nah, yeah, not at all. Not that I want to compare this with racing, but this uh, feeling now is different. But of course, after all, I'm the one congratulating you. Then, will you be more passionate with me? What? What? Oh, of, of course! Oh, I was joking. It's a... Well, it's a turn off for me that you don't look like something comfortable to cuddle with. Ugh, please wait till I'm reborn as a human in another world. Too bad. I'll probably be too old by then. Poor AG. What's up, Hibiki? The terrorists stole my friends. I want to be good, but I'm bad. Don't worry, we'll change Jenny and we'll make it good. So let's start our business. I still need to get someone below 20% health so we can have the auto defensor. Because it's good. Okay, yeah, he's getting dropped. Like a sack of potatoes. I guess that will do for a combo. I can't believe these two are fucking it up so bad. Just actual trash garbage from hell. Uh, Otto has the dash. And now Camille is going to get the resolve, so he starts off strong and good. Nearly, buddy, nearly. She wants guard. Da -da 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 -da. She wants resolve. He's already got it, so he's fine. And there's Owie. That ain't bad for just showing up. Fast then. I wish they could ever fucking kill anything. There we go, that's better. Yeah, she, okay, so she's got the auto defense we do have. But nobody's hit her yet anyway. Let's uh, do our upgrades. I still can't believe these guys are fucking so bad. It's awful. Awful. Let's 
past this thing that's crashed and binging at me. Howdy, Aphens, how you doing? It was Janetta, Janetta crashed. No more tweets for me. No more tweets for me. Fucking. Straight up trash. That's Alto, right? Yeah, we want. Nope. Yeah. Straight up trash. Not really fussed about giving these guys any items, I'll be honest. Well, let's uh, get going, shall we? Uh, at the Tuha de Danan, uh, Tessa is like, well, I guess probably not that lab didn't do no good. Uh, Kaladin says, uh, we've still got a chance uh, to save the hostages because Preventer agents and Uru 7, being Sasuke, are still inside. Uh, he is uh, a little worried because he saw uh, Gowron on the video uh, that the preventers transferred and he thought he was dead. And he mentions that they might need to use the ARX-7 uh, Arbalest. At the Mascross Quarter, everybody's hella upset that some terrorists have taken hostages and d driven the plane somewhere. Uh, Alto's flipping out and panicking. And Ozma uh, orders him to calm down. Team D introduced themselves. It's like, hey, I'm Aoi. I'm a supermodel race car driver. I'm Johnny. I'm just like a con artist, basically. Uh, I'm Kurara, I'm a drug cop with a gun. Uh, I'm Sukuya, I'm really unlucky and homeless. Hi. And I used to be an idol, I made her. How you doing? And Cassie's like, holy shit. It's Ada. But apparently, uh, Mithril uh, requested cooperation from uh, Dragon's Hive and Frog Sweeper agreed to help. And then Aoi said, uh, Mithril also asked some other people for support, so... Don't worry. Lots of friends. Uh, they, they, the uh, one of the assistants uh, they mention, uh, like one of the helpers, has the call sign Dog One, and we want to know who Dog One is. Uh, 
Uh, Sosuke uh, says, I'm glad that guy helped me escape while Hero caused a distraction. And then the guy's like, hey, stop there! Sosuke bops him. He's, uh, the guy goes, who the hell are you? And Sosuke just goes, the garbage man. He chooses his job at the volunteer club. It's like, what the... Collapses. So Sosuke picks up his gun and he's like, oh! And Chirico shows up. And they both pause and just look at each other. And uh, Sosuke's like, if I move then... And then Chirico finishes thought, I'll be shot dead. So they're both worried. Hero comes in. He's like, oh hey, it's the guy! And they acquired each other, and Joe's like, hey, hey, jeez. Whew, let's all calm down, shall we? What are you guys doing? Just, just hanging out like this. Who the hell are you? He's like, oh hey, Uru7, uh, we're the Preventers. I'm uh, Duo Maxwell, and. Uh, this guy's Hero Yui, and uh, this guy, well, he's a uh, dog one. He's good, he's a friend. Jericho says, I was also hired by Mithril. And then they uh, explain, um, it's like, oh yeah, this is uh, Kiroko Kuvi. He's pretty good. He's good at everything he does, don't worry about it. And they tell him they were part of Zexis, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And the duo says, uh, me and Hero have already uh, taken care of all the bombs on the jet. And uh, Chiruko uh, then says, then I proceed with my mission to save uh, Chiruri Kaname. And Sosuke says, no, that's my mission. Guys, guys, like I said, do you mind not doing the quiet thing? And here I says, all right, I'll let you handle it. I'll be the decoy. I'm assuming they transferred it to the third block facility. Understood. And they run off, and Joe just goes, like, did they just use a quantum brainwave or something? Being the thing from Double uh, O. And here I just goes, that's unnecessary. And Chirico says, let's go, we'll assist them. Inside the lab, uh, Sosuke finds Chidori, uh, he beat up all the guards and uh, busts his way in there. Um, she says they were showing her images and uh, calling her a whispered. And it was weird. Like they uh, drugged her and did weird shit. A whispered? Explosions happen and Sosuke's like, oh don't worry, that's a diversion by a, a friend. Hey, let's get you out of here. So they escape. What's going on? What's happening? It's just one guy! Why can't we stop him? Urgh! And Chirico's murdering them. He's like, well, he even took out an arm slave with that gun! And Garen's like, oh... How about this then? It's the... Uh, he, and he calls him like the... Like, one in a billion man, because that's like... His stupid thing, and he's like, Well, I'm here to put a stop to you now, buddy. Chiriko Kuvi. Chiriko! Just shooting his gun everywhere, and he's like, But, but, uh, 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 Garon, Garon, uh, someone has, uh, taken, like, the jet's been taken over, and, uh, the girl Chidori has escaped, and Garon's like, Ugh! Fuck! I was gonna have some fun with this guy who could take out a hundred dudes. And this is a scenario eight. Fighting boy meets girl. Uh, Sosuke says that um, the jets uh, just flew flew off, and he's going to look after Chidori. And she's all panicking and flipping out. And she's like, "What's even going on? What's even happening? What's the deal?" And then Sosuke explains about his mission to protect her from the terrorists and uh, he's like uh, meant to be bodyguarding her. He introduced himself as a soldier from Mithril 
And she's like, Soldier? Mithril? He's like, yeah, I'm Sergeant Sosuke Sagara. Uh, codename uh, Uru7, uh, rank and serial number V3128, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, whatever, dude. I stop talking nonsense. Arm slaves appear. Like, arm slaves. She's like, like, this way. Drags her into the hangar. And hops on. She's like, hey, no, like... An amateur shouldn't touch an arm slave, and he says, I'm not an amateur. I'm a specialist. And then he gets in the arm slave, and, uh... Takes over, and it's like, wow, you just took out both of those guys. Who the hell are you, Sasuke Sagara? And he's like, yeah, I told you. More bad dudes appear. Here's Gowron having a good time. Whoop. Bops him because uh, Garon's fucked up. That arm slave's out of control. It's like <laughs> Garon's having a good time. Sosuke's uh, hatch pops open, um, and the Garon just is like, <laughs> starts laughing. He's like, "Fancy meeting you here, Kashim." Uh, Sosuke then says, how the hell uh, did you survive? And the guy says, I've got a titanium plate in my head. So when you shot me in the face, bounced off and I was fine. And then he says they need uh, Chidori's uh, brain for research data insider, and it's considered black technology. Uh, like the Lambda driver. But uh, I can't believe what a good time and how fortunate it is to be meeting uh, Kashim here. Oh, uh, Chirko shows up. And he's like, "I'm here to back you up so you can save the girl." Womp. Now I'm safe. Dangerous. Let's go. Ah, Kashim, I'll get you later. Bomb. Let's go, Chirko. What can one man in 180 AT do, huh? Uh, defeat five units with any one pilot. Is the uh. SR point for this, and there is uh, have Sosuke fight Gowron for some Z chips and uh, an auxiliary GN drive, which is like fucking here or some shit. I'm pretty sure. Uh, now, uh... Fianna. I'll fight for us to live together in this world. Yeah, what can one man? What can one man in 180 do? Pull out a really big gun, shoot a giant galaxy-sized dude in the dick, and kill him. I mean, I know you got that titanium plate in your head, but it's not really the same, is it? And here comes Grunty. Hello. Howdy. How you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm watching you kill these fat robots. Yeah. They're like, what can one guy do? And then he kills everyone. It's yeah. He shot. He shot uh, the biggest boss in the dick. But you'll 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 f see the biggest boss. Then we do the Gurun Lagan. My mom's got a knife. Fat guy with a knife. Yeah, not good enough when Tirko has got like 50 different lenses to aim down. And the bazooka. Bazooka normally beats knife. 
in the, like that's that's classic rock paper scissors. Mm -hmm. okay, also, this bazooka has a bunch of rockets in it, not just one. Yeah. Okay, what's happening? What's happening here? Da, 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 da. Okay, Chiri uh, is like, could we really leave that guy alone? And Sokka says, don't worry, he's really good at his job. Uh, Chiri uh, says she's frightened of how he's acting, uh, how Sosuke's acting, because he's acting so weird and different. And Sosuke says, it's natural that you're scared. Just uh, believe in me. Just trust that I can uh, get you through this. And she's like, okay, sure. Sure. And then, back to fat dudes running at him with a knife. Yep. That happens in the show as well. Like, uh, they're like, oh, we need to get stop Gowron because he's doing something weird. So they're like, we'll send Sosuke. He's fought him before and he knows him and also he knows the area because he used to live there as a child soldier. He knows all the shit. And the squad he's with are just like, wow, get a load of this kid. He doesn't know shit about fuck. He's like, I fought that robot and it's really good. Like, be careful. It's fucked up and you'll die. And then a guy just runs at it with a knife and dies. And he's like, I fucking told you. I told you, dog. But they didn't care. I guess I want to stand here to bop these guys. And then that should get Chiriko's ace. Hell yeah. Damn. What's his ace? Uh, his ace bonus is probably he's re really, really good at everything he's ever done in his life. Well, that's fine, Chiriko. Where's Chiriko? That's fucked up. Uh, Chiriko Kuvi, uh... <gasps> his abnormal survivor activates when his hit point is 30% or below instead of 10% or below. And the abnormal survivor is just a super huge bonus when he's low on health. Like, 45% bonus to all of his stats. And he's also got okay. the other thing that gives you 49% bonus to your stats. So he's just really good when yeah. he's at low health. Yeah, when he's at low health, he's basically invincible. There you go. <coughs> Gowron's like, well, that was some good playtime, I guess. We show up. Wait a minute. Oh, it's because I didn't put these guys together. Well, I guess I would bring... No, but I want the snack. I guess Vicky's not coming. Eat shit, Vicky. We're here. We're gonna have a good time. So, like, oh hey, it's that guy. It's Chirico. And then uh, Mao says, "Oh yeah, that uh, that guy. Yeah, uh, Dog One, Chirico Kuvi. I scouted him out. He's pretty cool. It's like that AT looks like a hunk of junk. Yeah, yeah, it is. But he's really good at his job, Vicky. So don't worry. Don't judge him so bad." And the guy's like, wow, those guys are way too positive. I hate them all. <laughs> so he runs over, he's like, holy shit, did you see that guy move? Watch out, Chiriko. <laughs> and then he's like, I'll uh, show you the power of the Lambda driver. Bam. Damn, his robot has a ponytail. Yeah. It's so sweet. It's fucked up. It's not even like... They don't even say it it's for any reason like it's data cables or whatever. He's it's just... probably just made of babies. He's just got... It probably is knowing this guy. He's fucked up. He's my favorite. Chirico! He's like, yeah, well... Guess even the 250 billion dollar guy Chirico sucks. So like, what the hell? What's up with this guy? What's up with his arms? It's crazy good. Whoa! Damn, he did exactly the right amount of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, Garon's like, well, that guy got out of the explosion anyway, so I don't care. Firebugs show up because they're all full. So let's target that arm slave and bop him. And then I need to get somewhere. Oh, shit. Shit. I gotta restart. I gotta restart. Oh, you fucked up? Because the, the, the secret. What's the secret? The secret is you have to take Hibiki to a spot. 
Mm -hmm. Before this happened? No, after, like, uh, after that, but I hadn't deployed Hibiki. <gasps> and so it's it... only... Oh, you mean, like, he's not even... You can't, like, take him out of the... The ship, he's not even there? Nope. I didn't deploy him, so... But I'm deploying yeah, him now. Me. Don't worry, it's okay. You can skip through all the Screw shit that up. happened. I did. I was like, it's fuck Hibiki. Oh, shit, no, I need that secret. It's a good secret. And then I also need to get uh, Sosuke to fight Gowron. And I need, uh, yeah, I just need him to fight Gowron and have a good time. But who are you? I'm the garbage man. And they do their standoff, and the guys, they don't speak. But they're like, we're good, let's go. Let's do the shit, blah, blah, blah. Get the lady out, explosions are happening. There's the moon. There's the moon. Again. Jericho's bopping everybody. Blow is like, he even took out an arm slate. What the hell? And his guy is like, hey, it's that guy. And then he escaped, and the jet got away with all of his hostages, so, and the girl has escaped, so he's upset. And then Sasuke's gonna get in the robot. She says, you shouldn't use that. Amateurs shouldn't touch him. He says, I'm not an amateur. I'm a specialist. And then he murders them because he's really good at his job. Garon bops him. Sees him. He's like, oh, it's Kashim. Love you, Kashim. How you doing? Long time no see. I, I didn't die because I got the plate in my head. And then, you just do this. Fiona, I'll fight so we can live in this world. But, she dies. She dies. Doesn't want to live forever. Come on, Jericho, bop him, bop him, bop him! Gotta get your ace again, buddy. Oh, I'm scared. Uh, but it's okay. I just I'll believe in you that you will get me out of this awful mess. And then we bop. And we boogie. We bop and we boogie. That's his ace bonus. His ace bonus is Bop and Boogie? Yep, also. It's a good ace bonus. Did the cock manage to deploy everybody this time? Like, wow, look at that guy. Wow, yeah, I got Jericho. Ha, hoo, ha, and then he's gonna... Bop Jericho. And then he's gonna bop Jericho. Bop. Look at this cool robot. I just want to sit there and comb their robot's hair. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. But Jericho's fine. He's like, oh, I saw him eject anyway. He's fine, whatever. He can't die. He literally cannot die. It's impossible. He's OP. Straight up. Ends up putting himself in a box and going to sleep. That's what I like to do. Sleep in boxes. And he forget, gets in a... suspended animation pod, just gets in and he's like, I'll just go to sleep. It sucks. Everything sucks. I'll just sit here and snooze. And that's how it ends. Just him in a box to sleep forever. Uh, okay, where's... I think he's with this guy, right? I bet they don't move very fast. I need to get him... Do, 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 do. 28 across, 24 down. Yeah, 
Yeah, that room, that that spot there. Good, cool, good, excellent. Okay, okay, you guys. Fart and cuts. Don't fuck it up again. Don't fart. They're gonna fuck it up. They're gonna. They're like. They're not gonna be able to shoot anything. They're actually gonna be unable to exist in this fucked up world. Because the these guys are tiny and they're medium, so they have a penalty, and also they have like jamming. But it's okay; they, they can hang out with Mao. Mao will make them good. What's well, toughest fucking firebugs? Holy shit! Cats killed a guy, can Fard do it? No, this is why you don't end up as Camille's girlfriend. Because you can't murder anybody. Stun cold, but it's true. Damn. It's fucked up. Oh, fuck me. I knew he put some people in the gower on, that's bad. Don't put anybody near that guy. Fuck you up. Well, no, he seems like a friendly person. Yeah. Uh, murdering you? Yeah. But he does it, like, while smiling. He does He does do service with a smile. So, do, so does Gates. Gates and him give you service with a smile as they murder you and blow you up. Oh. And we're also not killing it. What's up with this? I mean, I guess the... A ten difference in offensive stats is probably what's doing it. And also I think uh, he has resolve and she doesn't. That'll definitely also do it. I just need someone to get five bops. That's the SR point. <laughs> A guy was just like, thanks, they really woke me up, thought I was going to fall asleep, this fight was so boring. Fuck you, buddy. You real jerk hole. A braggart. I'll say. I'll say. You get in there, buddy. Slowly but surely. Uh, these guys are also getting there. Slowly but surely. becomes a hundred, that ain't bad. <laughs> These guys aren't going to be able to do anything, but fine. Oh, Fire even got shot? Jesus. Fuck 
fucked up. She didn't kill the guy and she got hurt. Awful. St straight up. Chirico. So Chirico needs one, but he's dead currently. Hopefully he'll become un... well, not undead. But you know what I mean. Well, what if he did become undead? That'd be pretty rad. It would be pretty rad. Okay, Far's gonna use her big gun that does more damage than this guy's got hit points, so hopefully that's a murder. And cats might do it? Like, he killed one of these things before, right? With his shitty attack, and now he's feeling even stronger than he did then. Oh, nearly. Nearly! I can't believe how bad these two are. I can. Is it because one I of them, one of them's uh, a test pilot's assistant, and the other is the girl who lives next door to him? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, exactly yeah. Right. yeah, I guess. I guess that. Yeah. She's not even a very good new type. She's just bad. Does can't even tell people's feelings. And then Camille meets four. And she's called Fa, and then he hangs out with Four all the time. And then she dies, but she doesn't in this, so I guess. Sorry, Fa. She's got a cooler name, and she's better at fighting than you. Even if they did put her in the big robot that makes you crazy. I mean, sometimes you just have to be in the big robot that makes you crazy. It's it's the it's the Psycho Gundam, but it's not because it makes you psychotic. It's because it's got. The psychic communication frame, the psychomu frame, right? Oh. But it's called the psychic Gundam. When you're in it, makes you crazy. Mm. And also, she's uh, uh, like a modified human. She's had drug treatment and hypnosis and implants and stuff to make her a new type. Implants, huh? And uh, they are, as a rule, unstable. And need They're like a space marine implants, does she like have four hearts and a solid no. breastbone? No, they just do like put weird things in it to make a vaguely sort of psychic, sometimes magic baby. Oh, that's less exciting. Yeah. But, gotta do these things sometimes. But they are as a rule unstable and they need like hella drug therapy to not flip out and murder everybody. Yeah, Tails, I got like, Far can't use the biosensor because she's too bad. I think she's only a level 1 new type, so she can't even use any cool moves, even in the new. The new Gundam. It's not just for show. Please stop attacking. Okay, we blew up some guys. Uh, Sasuke's like, uh, Kanami asks who's winning, and Sasuke says, uh, not us. And he says, you should escape on foot um, while I act as a decoy. And she's like, no, that's fucked up. And she says, uh, his attitude uh, regarding the value of his own life uh, is awful. And he should consider himself uh, like more valuable than he is. And she says she doesn't want to live on her, she doesn't want to survive by herself. And she believes in him and wants them to survive together. And he's like, but, but, and she's like, but nothing. Shut the fuck up. Stop being suicidal. And then the hero comes over and says, I knew a guy who was like that, who didn't, uh, who looked down upon the value of his own life. Talking about himself. And he says, uh, he didn't understand the true meaning of life. He didn't know what it meant. And then he says, the uh, of life, Ethan? uh, not blowing yourself up all the time, because someone might touch a robot. It's probably, is mostly it, I think. Mm. But he says, uh, 
the, he says, uh, and the Chidri feels that you feel that way, and he's like, no, uh, I'm not like that, really. And also, why are you still here? And Hero says, what did they do to you, Chidri? I got a question. What did they do to you? And she says, they gave her some uh, drugs and then put like a VR helmet on her and made her watch some videos. Like videos? Yeah, like and Oculus it, Rift. She yeah. watched the roller coaster. Yeah, and then she starts uh, babbling about scientific theories and military equipment and stuff that she couldn't put, like, she couldn't, like, really couldn't possibly know about. But she mentions, like, the electronic cloaking system, the Lambda Driver, how to snipe using the curvature of the Earth. And they're like, what the heck? And she's like, oh, no. No, no, it's nothing. It's nothing. Don't worry. Don't worry. I just sort of feel like I understood like the information inherently but whatever no it's fine it's fine whatever and then uh, Sasuke's like Hero are you here to interrogate her and he's like no I came to save her and then he says Sasuke's got a mission to accomplish and it is about to arrive <gasps> check the not it check the 12 o'clock and then it arrives what the an M9 no it's custom for you So Sosuke gets in it. It's like, wow, this is pretty fancy. And then uh, the AI comes on. He's called Al, and he's like, "Howdy, log in, please." Gives him. Wait, the AI is named Al. Yeah, the AI is called Al, and he's really good. Oh, Al. I yeah, Al, Al. Al. No, no, no H. Just Al. I was like, hmm. And he's, but he's really good. He's really sarcastic, and he's really rude, and he's really funny. But he's like, I'm I mean, so... if I ever make an AI, that was the type of thing he will be. Yeah. He's like, I'm Sergeant Sosuke. So I got a uh, B3128. Um, yeah, okay, sure, accepted. I'll, I'll let you in. So let's submit and they do it and they get ready and they're good. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So this is the ARX uh, 7 RLS. It's really good. It's got an AI called Al. It's really good also. It's high performance experimental tech. And then Chirico is like, oh hey, it's uh, the guy. And the dog is like, yeah, I just found one of these in a bin. I'm going to use it now. And then he teams up with Sosuke. He's like, Kashim! Let's have a party. Kashim. And then they're going to have a party. <clears throat> and I need Chirico to get one murder. Oh, Chirico's back. Yeah, he got up, he's like, I found this in a bin. Let's go. What, the I, robot? Yeah. Because hmm. it's just garbage, trash, but he's good. He goes through like th three an episode. Who just throws away a robot? They're garbage. Got loads of them. Might as well just get a new one. I mean, this... you could repurpose them into farming tools or something. Helmet guns. Helmet guns. The best AI is uh, Al. The second best is Chamber. Uh, what's I have to say? Wait for us, uh, Kanoe, uh, Shiori, and Kyoko. We've already just moved to the school, but you're also kind to us. Because of that, I'll destroy all those people who scared you. Wow. Yes, okay. Maybe <laughs> that's a little overborn, but... They tried to kidnap you. They're like, well, they didn't try and kidnap you. They just hijacked the plane you were on. You got scared, and now I'm going to murder the shit out of all of them. In a really brutal way. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe a little. We didn't little use him, Tail Saga. We just never used Sasuke. Oh, well, he was in Bonta, but he didn't really do much. She summons the Mazinga squad, and each one of them has like one of Mazinga's moves, and then she doesn't kill anybody. Nice work. Well, you can't always kill someone. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Yeah, sometimes when you're using three robots to shoot at three different things at people, and then your own thing, sometimes it's no good. Luca can kill people, what's up with that?
And then Cougar's just gonna... Well, oh, she didn't murder everybody. Just murdered them a little bit, huh? How about that? What's Michelle say? Uh, the girls and uh, Miss Kagurazaka must be quite scared right now. How about I make you pay for that with your lives? He loves the ladies. He loves making them not scared. I mean, that's a noble goal. Okay, that's that's all the fists done. Don't have any more arms to shoot out, unfortunately. Uh, here's Gowron versus uh, Sosuke. This is great, Kashim. Everything. Uh, oh no, no, this is before. It's like okay, uh, a new uh, arm slave model, huh? Looks like you just became uh, a prey very much worth killing, Kashim. Shut up, Gowron. Oh, don't be so cold. This is our long-awaited reunion. Let's enjoy it a bit. Or no, 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 you. Why? Garon owns. This is where he's gonna fucking murder Chirico and we get a game yeah, like, I'd want a party with Garon. He's awesome. <laughs> Phew, he didn't kill Chirico. We've got to do the Lambda Driver. We've got to do the Lambda Driver for the other bit before we have the good time. Okay, let's, uh... There's nobody that's, like, two units. Okay, well, i got to do this. i got to do that. Uh... I guess I'll do that. So we can be defended by the black ox. There we did it. Got five enemies. Nice work. You did it, everybody. Let's go far. You did it. You got the guy. Oh, she's nearly aced. She's nearly aced. I don't know what her ace bonus is. I bet it's bad. I bet it's just really actually bad. Hugs. Ace bonus is hugs. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, let's... No, okay. We'll, yeah, we'll do, th we'll do this one. No, Katz isn't going to get the bot, so let's not. Let's do that and she can get that. Okay, we beat up some more guys. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Garon is laughing at him again, telling him he sucks. Uh, Chidori asks Hero who's winning. And the uh, hero says, uh, the battle's pretty even, but the silver arm slave's incredibly strong. And then um, she says that, uh, she senses that the enemy has the black technology, and Sasuke will lose at this rate. And then Garan's like, let's have a little party, Kashim. And he bops him a little bit. And uh, Sasuke's like, there's nothing I can do, this is awful, I'm gonna fucking die. What do we do, Al? Uh, maybe use the Lambda Driver, maybe? <laughs> maybe use our secret weapon yeah, to make like, anything possible. Yeah, like, make, make, do the thing. Lambda Driver? What the hell is that? Classified. You've, uh, no, Al, you've got to tell me. Classified. Huh. We should use the Lambda Driver. What's the Lambda Driver? Classified. I can't tell you. So, here is like, so what are we going to do? And then, uh, Chidori says, uh, 
She, like, she remembers some info. This is happening in her head. She's like, I, I know the thing. Give me the, give me the communicator. I know the deal. And uh, she uh, talks to uh, Sosuke, explain about the Lambda Driver, just uh, focus really hard on an image and then you'll have a good time and it'll do cool stuff. That on save script, the Lambda Driver, do it. And he's like, Lambda Driver? And she says, focus on an image. He's like, focus on an image? I, I don't get it. Boobies. Focus on boobies. It always works for all the other horny robot teams. Yeah, like... Don't worry. It's like, fuck, what's up with this? And Garon just go, ah ha 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 That guy's such a barrel of laughs. What a great guy. He really is, though, right? Uh, d d d yeah, so he's like, I don't like, understand. Focus on image. What the hell do you mean? So Hero then says, uh, then imagine. Who says that voice? Is that Hero? And uh, Hero says, "Listen up, Sosuke. If you lose, Shirikanami's mental state will be destroyed from the terrifying harassment she'll encounter." Uh, uh. And Shadow's like, "Terrifying harassments?" And Wada says, "What does he mean, Kathy?" And Kathy's like, "I, I don't know, kids." I've... <laughs> Michelle says, "Why don't you explain to them, Clan?" Shut up. Hibiki's also. Hibiki, you don't need to be imagining that. D yes, mom. Did you imagine it? N no, I don't get it. And she was like, oh my god, I was publicly humiliated and you ha having no reaction? Fine, I'll explain. If you lose, they'll rip off my clothes, play around with my body, and then kill me. Imagine that. And Kurtz goes, <laughs> and Kurtz goes, sure! Hell yeah, having your clothes ripped off? And Mel says, you don't have to, dipshit. And she just says, sound bad? Yeah. Does it piss you off? Yeah. These guys are going to do that to me. Are you going to let them? No, unforgivable. And then uh, the Lambda Driver turns on. Oh, good. He finally figures it out. Yeah. It's like, wow, that's, that's good. That's the thing. Good the arm saves good with some weird shit. Kashim, you did it. And then uh, Chidri says, uh, when you get two tag tension things and you're in a team, you can do a maximum break to pierce Garon's barrier. So do it, and then uh, we will. We will definitely do that next next turn. We'll have a good time. Uh... What about this? This should be okay. These guys should be able to kill these guys. So Kaiji, no. Luca's really good. He's got mobility down, barrier pierce, and ignore size on his assist attack. It's like the best assist attack in the game. And he's a plane? Planes are good. And he does jamming, so everybody else like he makes it, like everybody cool around him too. And then far oh, phew, they did get the guy because the support, but it didn't count because the support did it, so she didn't get it. Fucked up, but true. Look, is super good. We're as far as garbage. Like, Luke is probably, like, statistically very similar to Far, but his his ride is so much better. It's nuts. I don't, know, I don't think the uh, enemies get any bonus, other than if we get on hard mode again. I 
equip that because we can't do shit out of the command aura. Nice work. Nice work. Uh, who else needs to be aced? I should probably transform Camille. Let's attack Gowron with a really big robot. It's normally like an intergalactic space ca like carrier aircraft thing. Well, we did a, like similar damage to each other, but we're like four times his size, and he's got twice as much health as us. So I think in the end we came off worse in that trade. But Kurt will help by shooting him with a gun. Bingo! <laughs> okay, what does Riddy say to Garon? Because everybody says shit to Garon. Uh, whoa, whoa! What do you think you could do showing up in a place like this, Greeny? I may be experienced, but as a member of Londo Bell, I also have a mission to fulfill. Works to me, Greenhorn. Now, how about I teach you how very cruel the actual battlefield can be? No thanks, I don't plan on dying just yet. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Not dying's good. <laughs> Uh. Am I going to mark two? Here we come. Still do it. What does Michelle say to him? Nothing. Wow, Michelle doesn't have shit to say to Garon. She doesn't take no shit. You don't care. You don't care, you don't give nothing. He's like, whatever, <laughs> this dude's crazy. Whatever. Yo, No. Again, I think we came off worse on that trade. Continually. You thought I was gonna completely murder this one good dude. He's ruining everybody's life with his jamming.
You did it alone. You super fucked the guy up. Okay, now we gotta continue moving this guy. Down here, slowly but surely. Ever so slowly but surely. Let's just hang out over here next to this guy. Get him, Black Ox. Punch the bad man. Uh, if we'd fought it with uh, Shororo, uh, he goes, Oh, the famous boy investigator, the ICPO. Enthusiasm, nice. Shame you're going to get hurt if you meddle uh, in adult business so much. I know about you, Garon. An extremely dangerous man, wanted by the police all across the world. And here you are, coming after me. Yeesh, scary how stupid kids are. And your time's run out, villain. I'll beat you with Tetsujin, no matter what. And the secret is, he ain't doing nothing. Nothing of the sort. Okay, Camille uh, talks to him. This man, he's strong. Oh, this kid ought to be a new type if he can keep up with me. Is he treating this battle as a game? What's wrong with that? Isn't life itself a game? I know quite well the danger of a man like you, and that's why I'll stop you. Wow. I know the danger of someone who treats life like a game, like battle like a game. That's Yazan, who was fucked up. He's really evil, and then he was, like, way less evil. Certainly bopping him good, right? That guy wanted to get murdered by the big spaceship, so that's fine by me. Koji's got a good line against him too. And what a... I know you! Mezza Gazette! You're a whole lot tinier than in the movie! What? Ah, just kidding. I'm gonna play with you as an apology, super robot. And what a is... Hey, looky here! If it ain't Mr. Kitty President! Am I famous or something? That's a nice toy you got there, Prez. But my answer today's packed with some interesting things too. Don't go cheating the trider I got f from my dad as a toy. You always have me with your nice words, but I see you're just a huge bad guy. Oh, the cat's out of the bag. I don't go easy on bad guys. Awful. Awful. And then, uh... Uh, well, well, it must be my lucky day running into the famous untouchable man in a place like this. Nothing. Seems you ain't interested in rumours. But you better be ready, your life's gonna become fuel for the fires of war. Wow. Wow. Delicious. Delicious. Mm -hmm. You can cook the best sausages upon the flames of war. Or so I've been told. Oh, it's okay. The shoebox is going to help. Ah, 
He did the double image thing, just disappeared. Man, are these guys even gonna make it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. I think it's there. I think they'll be able to move it. Yeah, okay, they can move there next turn, hopefully. That just means I gotta survive another fucking turn against the Gauron. Okay, fucking far. Murder this man. I think we've already got enough kills for the secret that involves them having loads of kills. So, it's not really a problem. But what's her ace bonus? Where's far? All spirit command cost reduced by five. That's alright. That's alright. Wow, cat's ace bonus. Spirit command confusion cost 40. Wow. It's like not even like that's like Lucas, but worse. Like Lucas is analyze and confusion have the cost load by ten. Wow, cats, you're bad. Four becomes a real new type. Nice. As a four is to the dumb fake new type. Yeah, she goes. She goes from being enhanced human to a new type and the, the skill level goes up plus one so she becomes ever so slightly better ever so slightly uh, yeah sure I'll snipe the shit out of this guy and kill him fuck him what's Michelle's ace bonus? I bet it's shitty uh, critical rate, uh, plus thirty percent if there's a lady in his team. He likes ladies. Yeah, uh, clan gets uh, plus thirty percent critical if Michelle's on the map at all. And that ain't bad either, I guess. Womp womp. Womp womp. Oh, I guess. I guess that's it. I'm just not gonna move anybody else around. I'm gonna heal Chirico though. And then uh, Gauron vs. Sosuke post event. This is great, Kashim! Having the very first battle between two Lambda Driver units. I don't know what this equipment is, but I'll make use of it to beat you. Yeah, that's good, Kashim! That bloodthirst, it reminds me a little of the old you. That man with a pure, unblemished killer yeah. instinct. Shut up, Gauron! I'll close that big mouth of yours. Wow, wow, wow. So rude. I know Gauron's just paying you compliments. Dude. Yeah, he's like, he used to be so cool, Kashim. Isn't Andy's ace bonus just barrier pierce everywhere because he's the whole guy? Yeah, it's just barrier pierce to everybody. Okay, now we get Hibiki into the thing, but I'm gonna save just so we can make sure we're getting in the right spot. I thought Kagura's was a hundred percent crit, but I, uh, counter, but I guess it's not because he sucks. I hate people who suck. Mm -hmm. I think it's here. Yeah! Hey, what's this? And it's, uh, Male's dad. The originator of the heat smile. 
But hey, it's just, I'm just working hard. Don't you know there's like a terrorist attack going on? Yeah, I'm just repairing stuff. Here's a GN drive. Thanks, old, weird old guy. <laughs> I just found this laying around, so I figured, you know, someone might want it. Yeah, someone might want it. Uh... Well, the truck's not gonna fucking hit him. Is the decision gonna hit him? The decision's not gonna hit him. I guess Ada can get Tetsuji in that though. Let's blow up Gowron. Because he's awful. He's so ah, rude. Garon loves you. He's so rude. Just uh, cackling away, talking about this is the soul of battle. It's okay, Sosuke's gonna do a cool thing. With the shotgun. Gonna land the driver right up with it. Love's having a good time. We've offed Garon. We got something for it. Garon's like, uh well, whatever, and blows up. Nice work, we beat his gross arm slave. And Sasuke says, uh, we won't be seeing him again. Yeah. He's seen like fifty times. Beat all the uh, enemies, uh, Mihiro then says the preventers have confirmed that the passengers on the jet are safe. Nice work, the Mithril guys are all like, thanks dog one, you really helped out. But he's on standby mode. Dog one, no, Chirika, thank you. It's no problem, don't you have a mission to do? You're right. So, goes over and checks out Chidori, see if she's okay. She's like, yeah, I'm fine. And everyone's like, wow, you did a great job when you told him how to do the thing. And was like, hey, imagine he getting naked and tortured. That was, whoa, it was really good when you did that. And she's like, wow, I can't believe Alto and Koji and Hibiki are here. What the, why are you all here too? Are you, like, are you, is everybody in school in the army or what? It's like, no, just just us. Yes. No, everyone. The, jan everyone. the janitor's not. Yet. <laughs> Yet. Okay, in the hangar, Kal 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 Kalinin shows up, and he's like, "Hi, how's he doing? I'm Kalin. He doing? I'm I'm Russian or whatever. How's he doing, Sosuke? Uh, Sosuke reports about Garon being murdered now. He's definitely dead for this time. And then Sosuke uh, asks about the lander driver. Can you tell me about the lander driver? And Kalinin says, "Okay, uh, here's this thing with about whispers." Uh, there's a thing called Whispered, uh, Chidori's one, they've got this thing where it's like the last couple of years I've been doing research in them and I've uh, spread some false information about her not being one but I guess it's not going to work but they just know all sorts of weird shit, you know like Lambda Driver, the ECS system, the Twahade and they've all been designed by Whispered, they just know all sorts of weird science shit like really messed up science shit uh, you know like robots and stuff, like you know how we've got robots like and like weapons that are normally only in science fiction, but they're real. It's pretty weird, right? Black technology, it's called. And uh, whispered, uh, know all about it. They got it all locked up in their heads. But just to be safe about saying Chidori isn't one. So here we are at the hospital. Mal tells Chidori to forget everything that happened and um, she explains about uh, her and Kurtz and Sosuke uh, being a unit and she thanks Chidori for protecting Sosuke 
And she's like, you got some visitors, or whatever. And then everybody else comes in and was like, hey, how you doing? Hope you're good. Sorry for keeping it a secret that we're all really good at fighting. Except for Vicky, he's not really good at fighting. Uh, Chidri uh, apologizes back and for being rude, especially to Hibiki, and like being short-tempered and like not, like, it's like, you guys are always slacking off. But I guess it's because you were saving the world. And then Hibiki says, uh, "No, no, it's fine. Thanks for the opportunity for making a friend in Sosuke." Uh, Mouse says, "Sosuke will be leaving school now that Chidri's safe." So don't worry about it. Then Sosuke shows up and he's like, actually I've been ordered to be the insurance for you, so I'm just going to hang out still and be your bodyguard. <laughs> and she's like, brilliant. And then the rest of the class show up like, wow, Katay, how you doing? Nice work, you're doing good. Glad you, everybody's fine. Later, Sosuke meets with Duo and Hiro, and he says thanks for all the help they did. Uh, Sosuke says, why did you help out? And Hiro's like, it's my mission. And then Duo says, uh, you know what? You two are kind of alike. And he's like, what? 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 And then Sosuke says, uh, I'm not that poker face. I'm not as poker face as Hiro. And then... Here, I tells him to shut up. Um, Sosuke knows that Hero was the reason Trinity was safe, and he gives him a calorie mate. He's like, "This is," he goes, "It's a portable food and calorie free. I prefer the fruit flavored ones." And then he's like, "I'll take it." And then he asks where they're headed next, and uh, Hero says to the colony, and Joe says, "We're gonna go look after uh, Marina and uh, Relina." And he wishes them good luck, and uh, that's it. They, uh, they got out. Uh, happy Ace Pilot, Chidiko. Chidiko. So you ignore me, as expected. I prepared some wine, how about a toast? I don't drink alcohol. That was expected as well, so how about my best coffee? I'll take it. Leave it to me, I'll uh, be sure to serve you my best. The star from Planet Melchior that's a little bit better. Poor Jericho. Hey, Sasuke, it's me, AG. Uh, you fought Garon, that was pretty intense, right? So, uh, here's a hundred Z-chips that just appeared out of my ass. <laughs> Congratulations on your achievement of killing a weird guy. Yeah, it's like, hey, so the Lamp Driver, that's pretty money. cool. I wonder if a Mickey can amount to his thing like Sasuke did. Sail, sail. And still nothing good in the store yet. Fuck it. Uh, oh, it's a uh, root split. Right. Uh, so I guess we'll pair these two idiots up. I guess they can hang out. This combo's like bad, so let's not do that actually. There we go, that's not so bad. That's, yeah, that, that's better. Yeah, it's better. These awful plain idiots who can't do shit. How they even live? Uh, da 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 I guess he wants to predict, so he's cool and can shoot his gun more good. Yeah, sure. Dash on the cuts, so he's fast. Saka can nearly afford guard. Oh, he can he can afford uh, break cool limit now though. Nice work, Koji Kabudo. And then Jericho's got like eight thousand, so he's he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Dash, and then the move where you take half damage if you were gonna, if you were more likely to get missed is pretty good. So I think, I think I'll get him that. And predict. And then, eh. Should probably get him small size though. 
So maybe not predict. Or... Take less, like take half the damage if something was going to miss you, or just have ten percent better stats. Probably just ten percent, like the yeah. break call limit, just better stats in the first place, so you don't get shot, and then a little bit break call limit, a little bit of ignore size. Sure, sure, sure. We could just give him the thing that makes all of his attacks ignore size. And I guess that works too, given the spiral effector. There you go. Yeah, now all of his moves ignore size and barrier pierce. So that solves that problem. Uh, and then we got this shitty piece of garbage trash that sucks. Okay, can have the S adapter also because he's good. He's good. Sosuke will up plus ten actually, and then his lambda driver should kick in like right away. Sounds good to me. Instant, uh, instant stuff. In yeah, like instant being good. And we got the the lower morale up thing from. Beating up Gowron because he sucks. I don't really want to miracle far and cats, but if I have to. Like the Tension Razor would be good if they could ever fucking do anything. But they can't because they're bad. Really bad. Uh, upgrades. Uh, he already comes pretty upgraded. Uh, Lambda Driver effect is improved, is his half upgrade thing. Jericho just has every. all of his weapons are plus 30 crit. Uh, can we, like. Oh, we can make him space. In space. Space mode slightly faster, but otherwise exactly the same. See, he's got the S adapter. Why not just two, four, three, two, four, three? Yeah, look, no, why not? Why not just make him ever slightly faster then? It seems fine to me. 